Hi everybody, back at it again. This is the overhead console. This is the back panel um, near, near the rear that goes above the, the two passenger seats. And what I did here, a little rough, but I cut this section out. And in doing that, what I've got is I've got the two eyes lights that go in here. Both of them have their own on-off switch and uh, that's what it's going to look like. I'm not sure yet. I think I might do this with a powder coat finish. I still have to decide. But anyway, I figured I'd start getting these mounted and I have the LED bulbs that go in this. Um, and they're pretty bright. They're little magnifying ones, so it's pretty slick. And uh, here's the overhead console. You can see in the back here, I got my little Baggage light flips both directions, turns it on and off like that. Moving up. Here's my vents, which are pretty nice. There's my passenger lights with on and off and the little eyeball that you can move around. And then continuing up, I've got the two uh, ear vents for the pilot and co-pilot. Anyway, I figured I'd show you that. To do these, I just basically made a little cardboard template that fit over the back of these and then cut out the metal. And for the back one, it was pretty straightforward. Just drew the shape on here and just cut it out with uh, my um, Dremel tool and just filed it down to make it fit. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it. And so that's basically the overhead console. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do here yet. Um, I'm going to leave it for now. I don't think I'm going to put the lights in the front. I actually have a, uh, a light strip, and a red light strip that I'm going to put in uh, up around the, um, the cockpit. And that way I can dim it, brighten it. So that'll be my red light um, for at night. I'm not sure if I need another light. Um, but I'll see what I'm going to do with these. And then I may actually put, uh, I don't know, I may put some oxygen outlets on there. Just not sure at this point. But uh, for now, this is it. And uh, basically now I'll be waiting on uh, getting the cabin top off and uh, doing all of the cabin top work before I actually finish this by attaching it. And I've got to prep it before I attach it. There's some prep work because I'm going to keep the carbon fiber color. I guess material, not color, but I'm going to keep it this way. And uh, I think it'll look pretty sharp. Hi, everybody. Here's another quick update. I need to, uh, that center brace, I needed to drill that in. And they want to keep that, if you can see it here, pretty perpendicular to the roof line. And so I was a little concerned about it. So I did a little differently than I think most people do. So what I ended up doing was I ended up just drilling, I clamped this on, drilled these little pilot holes, one of them. I then took this thing right here, which I got from uh, Harbor Freight for 20 bucks. And I figured, eh, for 20 bucks, can't go wrong. I then put that up here, took this bar down, drill that one straight up, put a nut down through it, a bolt, nut. And then I went and drilled each one of these just enough to go into the first skin, took this bar out, then used this thing again to drill all of the different holes. And what you'll be able to see here, if I move you around to this side, <clears throat> you'll see right here, they came out really well, I think. So I'm pretty pleased with it. Overall, it looks like a nice pattern matches the bottom and uh, seems to be on good angles. The other thing that you have to do with this thing, again here, and I'm not sure you're gonna see this very well, but you've gotta go in here underneath and drill out the two holes that attach this front part of the bar. So this part of the bar here, to this and uh, this is hardened I guess and so I found that after this you know pretty much just one bit 
<coughs> I found stepping it up works really well. So that's what I did with it. Anyway, I just figured I'd share that. At least now that's all done. And uh, I'm actually in a position to start moving on to some other things. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Here's another quick update. Working on the window. And uh, I've got it cut out. It still needs to be scraped along the bottom just to kind of get it a little smoother. But uh, it's fitting pretty good, I think. By the way, I used a Dremel tool to do all this cutting, just a little cutting blade on it. It worked extremely well, gives you lots of control, makes it so much easier to do, and um, you know, it makes it much harder to make a big mistake. So this has worked out, uh, worked out pretty good. But this is it. And uh, you know, I'm just getting them prepped. I'll scrape it now with the scissors afterwards. But you can see up on top, it can, uh, once I scrape it down a bit and smooth it out, I'll kind of bevel it a little tiny bit. And that way it'll sit in there nice and snug. But uh, there's another quick update. Making great progress. Cheers. Bye now. I figured I'd show you the finished piece. It's not on the plane, but that was on the previous video, but you can kind of see here those spots where the plastic's missing. That's uh, that was missing when I got it. Actually, there were a couple of tears in it, so I don't think there's any scratches on there, but you can kind of get a gist of this as we go around here. But overall, it didn't take too much to cut it out. And the scribe lines that Vans had on here were pretty good. Um, I didn't use them per se, but I did use them for the rough cuts. And then when I put it up on and measured it out, it worked out well. And by the way, again, the Dremel tool, this is the little blade I got. Uh, buy those at uh, Harbor Freight. They're pretty cheap. And it works really well. You have so much control over it. And you just kind of hold it right on the edge and you can ride along it pretty nicely and then I didn't have very good scissors so all I did was use these and uh, all you really do is really you're just taking these scissors and just dragging them along the edge and they just scrape a layer of the uh, the plexiglass right off but uh, you know I think it came out okay I've still got to do the two side windows, but I figured I'd share with this with you guys. And don't forget, if you liked the video, make sure you give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers. Thanks. Bye now.